we've been taping a series on music, Let's Make It a Ministry. And for this last tape, we want to take another actual choir practice and choir rehearsal and go over a song, a new song, and teach it to the choir and maybe give them some pointers that will help you in, in dealing with your choir. And maybe we'll cover something that will be a uh, benefit to you. But I like to begin every choir rehearsal with prayer. And I'll ask you to bow your heads with me for just a word of prayer before we start. Our Heavenly Father, we ask again for your blessings. Lord Jesus, we pray that you would give us a good time together. Help us, Father, as we study not only the music but the message in this song. And may it speak to our own hearts. May we realize that communication begins with the very soul of the choir members. And may we realize, Father, that unless we have the presence and the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit of God, we'll never be able to present the message that you'd have us to give in this song. Be with us now and bless our time together. May it not be wasted, but may it be time used to the furtherance of the gospel of Christ. And we'll praise you in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. All right. Choir, I want you to look at a song called Longing for Jesus. Some of you probably are familiar with it. Maybe some of you hearing it for the first time, but it's a beautiful song. And let's kind of talk about it for just a minute. First of all, this song affords us a tremendous opportunity to work on expression, on putting the message across that's in the song. Now, you can take it and sing it exactly the way it's written, uh, and it's a beautiful song that way, but it doesn't speak to you quite like it does if you slow it down in places and hold it out in places and put some expression into it. Now, the words in themselves are beautiful. I have a longing in my heart for Jesus. I have a longing in my heart for him, although I know his presence lingers near me. I have a longing just to see his face. We know he's always there. We know he's always with us, but still, I have a longing. The, ver the chorus says, longing, longing for Jesus. I have a longing in my heart for him just to be near him, to feel his presence. I have a longing in my heart. For him. And this ought to be the heart cry of every Christian, that I really have a longing just to be with Jesus. The last verse speaks to lost people. To you who do not know this man named Jesus, you've never lived or found life's greatest joy, or won't you now take him as Lord and Savior and know the fullness of his matchless love. Beautiful words. And a song that I think will be uh, the prayer of our hearts, or should be the prayer of our hearts as we sing it. Let's take it. And the verse is written in two parts. It can be used either as a duet. It could be done as a solo, but the harmony is too pretty to leave it out. But instead of using a duet on it, let's take the sopranos and tenors on the melody, altos and basses on the alto part, the harmony part, and then when it gets to the chorus, it breaks into four parts. Now, tenors, when we get to the chorus, you have a move there. Uh, don't rush it. Watch me, and I'll try to to cue you on the move. Sopranos and altos and basses, hold your note across and don't rush your your uh, the end of longing down before the tenors get ready to move. Let's just take it, see what we can do with it, and go through it a few times and, and see if the Lord won't let it speak to our hearts just real good. Okay? The first time we'll take it just pretty straight, pretty much the way it's written. Ready? I have a longing in my heart for Jesus. I have a longing in my heart for Him. Although I know His presence lingers near me, Oh, 
real good for the first time through. Now, one of the things that I should have mentioned to you earlier, it's good to bring a pencil with you to choir practice. And when you come across a part that maybe you need to remember, mark it. If there's a place that we're holding it and you think you can't remember it, or whether you think you can or not, a lot of times we'll forget under pressure. Mark it just real big. Don't worry about writing on the music. Uh, mark it to where you can remember it and where you can know what you're talking about and, and when you get to that particular part. All right, let's take the first verse again. We're going to slow it down just a little bit. Work with me on the phrasing. Watch words that end in T and C-E especially. Heart. Remember I said sing on your vowels, pronounce on your, on your consonants. When you come down, I, I have a longing just to see his face. Don't swallow that, not face, but face. And then cut off the right together. The same thing with heart. Cut that off right together. Carry your words over. I have a longing in my heart for, and so on. And carry the words over to where you don't break every word up. All right, let's take it from the first again. Give us just the chord. Ready? I have a longing in my heart for Jesus. I have a longing in my heart for I want you to look at with me. First of all, how do you pronounce L-O-N-G-I-N-G? Longing. And I said, sing on your vowels, it's pronounced longing, not long, but longing. Everybody say that with me. Sing that one. Is that the right pitch? Give us some G. Yeah, okay. Long. Yeah, somebody's just saying la, not la, la. Ready? to the word no, although I know his presence. Don't pronounce it N-A-W. It's N-O-W. K-N-O-W. Although I know. Not although I know, but although I know his presence. Present. Lingers near me. Watch those words there. Uh, Let's sing again the first of the chorus, and I want more, oh, longing. All right, ready? Come in.
do the first verse all the way uh, through verse and chorus and I want to want you to move with me just a little bit better let's work on the expression just a little bit more all right from the first Uh, 
I have a longing in my heart. A little more color on a heart for him. Now we're having a slight problem on you've never lived. Give me just a little lift there. You've never lived or found life's greatest joy. Greatest joy. Don't have to put the T on the greatest. Greatest joy. Sing that with me. Greatest joy. All right, now sing the phrase, you've never lived, and give me just a little bit of lift, and it'll get you a chance to catch your breath there. Ready? You've never lived or found life's greatest joy. Do it again. Don't move too quickly on that. You ready? You've never lived or found life's greatest joy. Good. Much better there. Now, uh, as I said, breathe deep. Sit up straight when you're sitting down in a choir rehearsal. Sit up straight with both feet on the floor and breathe from your diaphragm. Breathe through your mouth. You can't breathe through your nose and catch your breath. When you breathe, you get a good breath from way down here. Most of the time we bend like this and we cut off about half of our lung capacity. So stand straight. Remember I told you the other night one of the best ways, and you can't always do this, especially if you have a low ceiling, but Stretch as high as you can above your head and then just let your arms fall without moving your chest. And that's your singing position. Keep your chest high and your stomach muscles tight and yet not forcibly so. So breathe from here and keep that chest high and also keep your head up. Don't stretch your neck for high notes or swallow your, uh, your low notes, but keep it even. And the higher you get, the more you tend to look over and let it go up in your head and let it build. The lower you get, tend to look up and keep it from going down in your throat. But keep your chest high and breathe from right here. Open wide, get deep breath and breathe through your mouth and learn to hold it. Remember I said the other night you ought to be able to count to 25, 30. Breathe deep and count one, two, three, four. And every time... Count from here, not one, two, three, but one, two. And pop your diaphragm and learn to, to feel what you should be feeling when you're singing. So bring it up from there, open wide, and sing big. It should be pitched the roof of your mouth and out. Remember I said humming is good voice placement, and think of it coming from right here. Don't think of it coming from your throat. Your throat is just simply an open channel and allows the tone to come through. And, of course, it has more technical... Uh, jobs of that, but for what we're talking about right now. So keep those things in mind. But expression is one of the greatest things on a song like this. I have a longing in my heart for Jesus. And you can literally grip the people's heart with a song like this. I said the other night, and you must remember, when you sing, paint a picture with your words. Uh, when you get through singing a phrase, they ought to know exactly what you're trying to get across to them. They ought to know if you're doing it tenderly, if you're pleading, if you're uh, doing it joyfully. They ought to know exactly what you want out of that particular song. All right, let's stand up and go all the way through it and um, sing both verses. Remember your expression. Watch me closely. Always, always watch the director. Doesn't make any difference. Uh, what else is happening? You follow the director. That's why he's up here. So uh, keep that in mind. All right, let's take it from the very first. Now move with me on every phrase. Ready? Let's go. Uh,
chorus one more time. I want you to swell with me on Lord. And bring it back down. Crescendo, and then day crescendo on it. Watch me. Let's do the chorus one more time. Ready? this song beautiful message i have a longing in my heart for jesus thank you choir you can be seated